Hello children, in this video we will be doing unit 4.1, please listen, which is a poem. The poet of this poem is not known, it's anonymous. Let's read the beginning stanzas. Please listen, when I ask you to listen to me and you start giving me advice, you have not done what I asked. When I ask you to listen to me, and you begin to tell me why. I shouldn't feel that way. You are trampling on my feelings. When I ask you to listen to me, and you feel you have to do something to solve my problem, you have failed me, strange as that may seem. Listen, all I ask is that you listen. Don't talk or do, just hear me. Advice is cheap. 20 cents will get you both Dear Abby and Billy Graham in the news, same newspaper. And I can do for myself. I am not helpless, maybe discouraged and faltering, but not helpless. When you do something for me that I can and need to do for myself, you contribute to my fear and inadequacy. Now, there are some hard words in these stanzas. The first one is trampling. Okay, here we can see trampling. Trampling means crushing harshly. Okay, crushing someone's feelings very harshly. Then we have failed me. Okay, failed me means to let someone down. Okay, to let someone down. Then we have faltering. Faltering means hesitating. Then last we have inadequacy. Inadequacy means state of being deficient. So children, the poem, please listen, is about the importance of listening. Now, listening requires one person to pay full attention to what the other person is saying and understanding his or all feelings and emotions. Here, the poet speaks like a teenager addressing his elders. The poet complains that if he asks somebody to listen to him and the person starts advising him, then he or she is not doing what is asked of him. But when the, poem, when the poet asks his listener to listen to him, he or she begins to tell the poet to not feel the way he is and that is unfair. This is not what is expected from a listener. In this way, the listener crushes the feeling of a speaker. The poet says that if he asks somebody to listen to him and the other person tries to do something to solve his problem, then also there is something wrong with the listener because he is not listening but he is trying to solve it. It is surprising to see a listener behaving in that way. According to the poet, listening is merely paying attention to what someone is saying and to understand the person's feeling. It is quite easy to get an advice from someone. He has given one example of the daily newspapers that even the daily newspapers publish advices from columnists alongside the problems in exchange of money. That means even the newspaper you get some advices if you pay the newspaper. The poet says that he might be a little depressed but he is not helpless. Let's read the next stanzas. But when you accept as a simple fact that I feel what I feel, no matter how irrational, then I can stop trying to convince you and get about this business of understanding what's behind this irrational feeling. And when that's clear, the answers are obvious and I don't need advice. Irrational feelings make sense when we understand what's behind them. Perhaps 
That's why prayers work. Sometimes, for some people, because God is mute. He does not advise or try to fix things. God just listens and lets you work it out for yourself. So, please listen and just hear me. And if you want to talk, wait a minute for your turn and I will listen to you. So children, in these stanzas, the poet further tries to explain or say that if suppose a child is asking his parents to listen to him or her, then the parents are expected to pay attention to his feelings or thoughts. But if the parents are not doing that and if they are starting to solve their problems, which the child can do for himself, then they make the situation more and more worse. They should make an effort to understand the child's feeling. It may be how much ever foolish that child's situation may be, but they should sit and listen to the child's problems or situation. Even irrational, illogical feelings have meaning to it if someone tries to understand the reason behind them. The poet also tries to idealize God as a great listener, for he always is silent and listens to the prayers of his believers without giving any advice. So, it is better to lend your ears to people who wish to express their feelings and emotions. But if the listener wants to talk, the poet asks him or her to wait a minute to let his or her turn come. The poet ends by saying that he will also listen to his readers as a sincere listener. So children, with this we have completed with the explanation for this poem. Thank you for listening. Take care.